Hello, it's Ricardo, and welcome back to Stargate Timekeepers. And thank you very much to Slytherin Games for the press copy of this. So, Stargate Timekeepers is a tactical game in which you lead a team of specialists through a story-driven campaign featuring an original Stargate narrative that's set just after Season 7. And if you're a fan, that's the Battle of Antarctica. Now, the game will launch in two parts. The first seven episodes on January the 23rd as part of season one and season one part two will launch in April 2024 or thereabouts. You only pay once and once you buy it you get the second part of the season included. Let's start taking a look. Anubis has been defeated but the Gua'uld threat remains. Following her valiant efforts in Antarctica, Colonel Eva McCain was assigned to the Lambda site, an off-world outpost of Stargate Command. From there, she leads operations in aid of Jaffa groups resisting the Gua'uld. The planet Hactyl is a base and refuge for female Jaffa who escaped Moloch's oppression. Guided by Ata, a scout in the Hactyl resistance, Eva is leading a convoy of supplies bound for a camp on Hactyl. When their journey is suddenly disturbed, by an unexpected threat. Currently on Stargate Timekeepers. SG-1 got it. The weapon of the ancients. That was above and beyond, Colonel McCain. We're forming a new team for operations with our Jafar allies, based on the Lambda site. We'd like you to lead it. Isn't the Lambda site off-world, sir? All right, listen up. We're headed to Hactil. We'll be escorting a supply convoy to one of their camps. Isn't sending a whole team a bit overkill? We will provide a scout to help guide your way. How much longer till we reach the camp? I expect about two hours at this pace. All right, thanks. Hey, hey! Hey! My sisters will be very pleased to receive these supplies. We greatly appreciate your generosity. No problem. We're happy to help. Hmm. We've stopped moving. Is there a problem? Colonel, there are Jaffa warriors on the path ahead. Moloch's men. They're blocking the way. Moloch? That's not good. Ata, can we change course? It might be possible. There are many paths through the forest. What are our options? After this turn, the path divides. The way to the right leads to the river. There is a bridge we can raise to cross it. It is strong enough to bear the weight. After the bridge, we can continue on a path that leads towards the camp. Otherwise, we can turn left. We shall come to a great tree with a hidden passage in its trunk. We can open it to let the convoy through. It takes two people on top of the tree to open the way. We must first pass through a clearing, then climb up. At that point, the path divides again. We can go whichever way seems safest. Either of them will take us to our destination. So, we have options. Let's scout the area and work out the best course of action. Wherever we go, our first priority is to secure the track. We can't let Moloch's warriors endanger the convoy. That is true. All right, let's go. Have Moloch's warriors been here before? Not to that I know of. And I have lived here almost my whole life. That's what I thought. Well, your camps are well hidden, far from the gate, and surrounded by woods. If they're not searching for you, they might not find you. I hope you are right. So here we are, Season 1, Episode 2, entitled Resistance. We've had all the talky-talky and the catch-up from the original uh, first episode of Season 1, which was... 
the Antarctic War, or just after the Antarctic War, where we rescued SG-1. This entire part of the game now is going to get our super sneaky Stargate skills on the board. So, quick look in the settings and audio settings, gameplay, quality of life, insurance, the graphics, all that sort of stuff you can do here. You can change the language, set your volume, you guessed it. Right, even get back to the main menu or restart your mission from here. One of the best points of all of this is the quick save and quick load. You're going to be using this a hell of a lot in this game as well. So let's move our protagonists. We're going to zoom in and move them over to this help marker. Holding the shift key down as well, it just states a little bit of help to guide you on your merry way. Crouching in bushes to hide from sight. Enemies will only see you if they enter the same bushes. And also you can then hide enemies' bodies in bushes as well. So this is all part of what Stargate Timekeepers is really all about. As I mentioned, it comes on from the end of Season 7. And it starts its own narrative with Colonel Eva and her team of specialists. Now we've got a Jafar sympathizer here with us. And, you know, she, she's got her own level of skill sets. So let's get on with this. We're all crouched right down. Super, super secret stealthy mode. We can see the cone of the Jafar just off to the left-hand side. And we're going into a bush. Now, when we go into a bush, you'll get a little outline around your characters as well. And you will remain hidden. And like it said in the help, you'll remain hidden until you either move out of the bush. And that can be done by standing up or moving out of the bush's perimeter. Now, if the Jafar happen to walk into said bush or the cover, then they will spot you and then lay down their fury. So with this, sometimes you can use stealth task tactics to, to do some work on the Jafar, or what you can do, you just go loud. Sometimes you just got to get the gun out and let them have it. There you go. We've got Eva's um, P60. It gets the job done. That cone of fire has laid down the Jafar. And now what we've got to do is pick up the bodies and hide them. So we're going to approach those bodies now. We're Roger. going to press the left shift key and then the mouse button. Pick them up. Dump them in the bushes. What do you need? Now, why are we Move dumping up. them in the bushes? Well, I'll tell you. Because if somebody like a patrol sees them, that will raise the alarm. Then, no matter where you hide, they'll be after you. And that'll be the end of the game, as far as things are concerned. Yes. So, it's all about oh. stealth. It's all about hiding people. You know, if, some, if guards do yes. see you, you've got to act really quickly. Knock them out. Hit them with something. Whatever. And then, and then you'll be okay. Now, we are operating behind enemy lines here. And that's what this game really is all about sneaking as opposed to an awful lot of direct combat now yes we have got a machine gun yes there is a Jafar weapon and there are stun grenades but it's all about tying up people hiding them in bushes stunning them as opposed to killing them outright now this next section was a bit tricky to be perfectly honest I took an awful lot of time over this the quick save and the quick load really is a godsend in this game. And you are going to be using it an awful lot. Now, at first look, it. it looks like all these people have got their area covered. Fair enough. Here we go. Right in here. As far over as we possibly can. Now, I've turned this setting on in settings to see how long it is before the guy does something. Now you can throw your shell casings to distract people. That's kind of what we're going to have to do. Right on it. So we're going to bide our time. So shell casings, that's the answer. We're going to throw that. It's going to make a chink. A chinking sound. There goes our person. If we throw that over there, they should look at it. Let's move. We can then run across there, right in the bush. Crouch down again behind those logs. Now, here he comes. He's out of sight of the other guy. He's going to turn back to us. Roger. We're going to give him a bit of a belt. 
Fisty cuffs. Knock him out. There you go. Have it. Tie him up. Get him in the bush. Now, the other guy's been alerted to our presence, that Jafar warrior. But he hasn't seen us, and he won't go too far off the beaten track either. And then he'll go back to his patrol route. Off he goes. How can I help? There's a few things we've got to do, but you need line of sight for them, so you can't really shoot them with the zat. Let's get... Ata. Very close. She's got the ability to throw something that gives him a little bit of a distraction. We can sneak up behind him, give him a good belt with the Jafar staff, tie him up, pick him up, stick him in the bush. Now, people are detecting us. As soon as that yellow hits us, it'll turn red and they'll spot us, but we just got away with it. Right, so back into crouching mode. Suits us, sir. Understood. I need that decoy piece, that headpiece of Ra. It's kind of what it looks like from Indiana Jones, yes. but hey. Right, we're going to move around into this area. Again, we've got a few helpful hint Understood. boxes that do give us a hint on how to do this particular mission. So here we go. We're crouching down behind the boxes. Indeed. Now it says we can use opportunities in the environment to neutralize enemies. Sometimes there'll be like a pile of logs or there'll be a crane or that's what it is in this case. It's a crane, which when you can, you haven't got to use your wits. You haven't got to use your cunning. You haven't got to use your stone grenades. The environment will kill your enemies for you. So here we go. A fine idea. We're off. We're out of range. They can't really see us. We're crouched down. It's a little bit silly, really. We're kind of in the open, but hey, whatever. Uh, Eva can stun multiple targets with a stun grenade. We kind of worked that one out. We're going to get as close as we possibly can, making the most of rotating the map around as Got well. It. That's really important, rotating that map. Right, here we are. Great, brilliant. You can see the panel there. It? Sometimes you can just... Hover over that and it'll show you what's going to happen. There's our stun grenade. Those guys are going to be in range. So we're going to let them have it. All three of them. There goes the grenade. Now we've got to move quick. We've got to get over to them. Get them tied up so they're subdued. Without the other guy. And you see just at the top where the, the clock is. Seeing us. Now these boxes are giving us a bit of cover. And we've been quite fortuitous. Right by being it. able just to leave those people there um, for the time being while the guy goes on his merry route and then we can then dump him in the bushes. There's that Jafar warrior. Over Let's we move. go. I do find the controls just a little bit clunky sometimes. Holding the shift key down and without it being point and click sometimes, I... I do struggle with it. And that's normally to my detriment. So we're going to wait till he moves away. I'm just going to hide behind that box. See if he comes. He comes within range. We should be able to go and pick that fella up okay. now. That's that Jafar warrior we've got. And we're going to go and dump him in the bush. Right. All Roger. that's out of the way. So this opportunity then. There's like a sort of a Stargate dialing panel just past that bush. So we're going to try and use that. And we Got can it. see the crane goes and drops something on somebody. So we're just going to use it. There it is. Dropped a log on, on the guy. That's flattened the pair of them. Right? They're not getting up from that. Problem we've got is we've got to get over there then and subdue the remaining Jafar. Hey. Now he's seen that something's up. He's going to go over and investigate. Good for him. We're going to try and throw a bullet case in. Or we're just going to sneak around and give him a thump. I think we'll do that. We'll wait till he comes back, I think. And then have him. The ability to see how long they last in a particular area is 
paramount here. It really is because it really helps you out. If you have trouble with, you know, the patterns, the guards, that sort of thing. So here we go. There he is. He's looking at another one. We should be able to get round there and give him a good belt, giving you a belt in with the fists. So let's get Eva on the go. Quintessential Stargate, this. Thump. There you go. We got let's him. Move. Tie him up. Great. Pick him up. Stick him in a bush. We'll go. Now there's one Jafar up there. But to be fair, I thought he wouldn't have seen us. So we're going to have to act quite quickly. So we're going to use a tar and we're going to get off up and to the left. Roger. We're not going to go the tree route. We're going to go, as we know, the bridge route. So here I am. I'm after this section. It looks like I'm being attacked. I've been seen. So really, before you can react and summon anybody, I'm going to give him a thump with the Jafar staff. Now we're going to tie him up. All right, I think that's all then of we're going to pick our area. amulet up, and Let's that's objective on. completed. So we've secured the path ahead. Understood. All right, let's get them over there and uh, see what's going on. A fine idea. Get in that bush. I shall. Right, okay, great, brilliant. Bit of a quick save on the go. Let's get over there, pick up that amulet. There's nobody else in that area now that, that we need to deal with. So that's good. Right, we got it. Let me just walk across it and, uh, and that'll, that'll get it for us. We'll automatically loot it and pick it up. Right on it. Another help point there. Attack can lure enemies away from their positions. Throw that decoy. Well, we did throw the decoy and now we've picked it back up. Let's get back on our merry way. Right, we've got more bushes to hide in. And there's what looks like to be an armoured Jafar right there. Now, he's going to need a, a little bit of different tactics before we get over there. Right, so it's four over there. And he's the vanguard, so we go and get him. Let's get Sneaky Beaky in. Or we could go the other way. I think we're going to go the bridge route for this. That's the good thing about this game. You can go back, replay it, do another route if you want to. Completely up to you. A fine idea. Although the amount That's of more. tenseness that you get from playing this game, you're like, you just want it to be over. You know, it's like, it's stressful. It's like, oh, if I go here and do this, will they see me? And if they see me, I'll have to go back to my last save. That's why the quick save on this, on Stargate Timekeepers, is so important. Right, okay, let's move. So, once we have a good look around, there's nothing else to pick up around you. We can get on our merry way and go for this other Jafar. So, as I mentioned, he's armoured. He's right only on going to be impervious to electrical attacks. Or you can use the binoculars on armoured Jafar. Now, armoured Jafar, they've got the helmet on and everything. Fine. What the binoculars do, as we can see here, tactical binoculars analyse a target, making them vulnerable to physical stun attacks. Otherwise, if you don't use your binoculars, they're going to go, ha ha, I have my Jafar helmet on, and therefore you cannot hurt me. So that's what we're going to do. Easy peasy. Right, so we're going to get in that bush. We'll go. We're going to select Colonel Eva. That's F1. Binoculars. Aim at the individual. There's our Jafar. All right, he's got the binoculars over him. Then we're going to get Atar all the way over there. Give him a bit of a stunning. Onward. There you are. He's down. 
Brilliant. So, tie him up, Understood. stick him in a bush. Like I say, it's all about sticking people in a bush. Now, everyone's got their own individual abilities. So, Eva, she's got the machine gun, she's got stun grenades. Atar, she's got the Jafar staff, she's got a Nakwado attack, she's got a little amulet she can throw, she can pickpocket, she's got Jafar Nakwado grenades as well. And she's got a grappling up. So, everyone's got their own little abilities that to help you through this entire section of things. Yeah, look, here comes somebody. Somebody's working on the wagon. There's three people we gotta act quickly here. There goes the grenade. Zap. Now we gotta move. Right Tie them up. If they wake up, give them a good thump in. Tie them up. Get them in the bush. Dead easy. I say dead easy. This game is anything but easy. If you think you're going to come in here first go and do everything first off, you're mistaken. It's a challenge, even in story mode, which is a little bit more, I wouldn't say lax, but you know, it, it's going to help you a little way along the lines. Okay, everyone's tied up. One more person available all the way over there. We've got the help section. More people dumped yes. in bushes. We're doing our bit for littering up this planet with, with Jafar bodies. But, you know, at least they're not brown bread, if you know what I mean. Onward. So once we've got these guys out the way, it's onto that armored Jafar. And, and that's going to be a little bit more of a challenge. But of all the ones I've attacked... This, so far, is the easiest one. We're going to go over there and we're going to read the help, because that's what it's all about. Indeed. Right, so by default, I'm a Jafar, resistant to physical attacks, and we'll raise the alarm. Energy attacks are effective against all targets. Atar can use her Chad Matok staff to perform an energy attack on multiple targets. Press 2, then left mouse button to attack. So, okay, fair enough. 2. Providing he doesn't move. And this is a problem I've had before with the Jafar. If they move and you're in the middle of an attack, you'll miss. And then you look like a right silly sausage. So, that's what we've got to do. We can see where he's looking. Nothing else going to happen here. Let's get cracking. I shall. Right, so he can't see us. Got We're it. not being particularly covert here. And we're going to use Atar, who's our Jafar. Yes. Selected two over there. Give him a good belt. The game freaks out a bit because I'm stood right in front of him and not able to do anything. So I'm going to try it again. There you go. All the Zeds come out. He's knocked out. Out with the rope. And you've guessed it by now. In the bush he goes. Done. Bush. Get him in there. Right, so, okay. All that done. Now it's time for us to move on up this pathway where there's, look, a big pile of logs. And uh, needless to say, the bridge needs rising. So we can cross this a little bit further up river. That's what we were told. More bushes to hide in. That's what it'll do if I press that. Okay. Three Jafar there and one across that little chasm, we can call it. The natural bridge. So, time to get in that bush. And we're away. A little bit of waiting around needs to happen now, unfortunately. Um... We've got to wait till this guy goes across the bridge, comes back from the bridge, so I can get over to that bush without being detected. So that bush first, and then we can use a stun grenade, which I think is the plan, to, uh, to sort it out. Unfortunately, if I tempt him over towards those, those logs, I'm going to be seen. So it's not quite going to work. So we need to get into that bush pretty damn quick. Got it. 
Right, so we're in the bush. This is brilliant. They haven't seen us. Always a bonus, especially in this game. Now, over to the stun grenade. As soon as he comes into that blue area where I can throw, which is not very far, but I can throw, we'll let him have it. So here he comes. Brilliant. Throw the grenade. The grenade goes off. They get stunned. We go over, tie him up, and you've guessed it. Stick him in the bush. Perhaps it shouldn't be called Stargate Timekeepers. Perhaps it should be called Stargate. Dump him in a bush. Now, for some reason, the tactical mode where you can double people up isn't working. I don't know why. It's an early release. I've tried pressing the key I've assigned to it, the hot key. It should be the control key by default. I've tried changing keys and what have you. It's not worked. Not to worry though. We'll go. We're doing just fine. But the tactical mode allows you to string different attacks. Press enter and your protagonists go off and perform your actions. Now we're not going to go straight across that bridge because that, be that would be ridiculous and utter suicide for our SG members. What we're going to do is we're going to use a tar who can climb up things like vines. Now, our military trained Colonel, Colonel Eva, can't climb up yes. these. Right on it. It's one of those things. And we find out there are places in the environment that only a tar can climb. A tar will automatically climb when you select a destination. Brilliant. Okay, then. So there's a tar. We're going to get them over there. Make sure Eva's stuck in a bush a while we go and do some work by ourselves. There's a Jafar. Plenty of points of cover. Understood. Here we go. Right. Good stuff. Stun grenade, I reckon. That's the answer. Pop down. Thanks very much. They're blinded. Let's get over there and give him a good belting with the Matok staff. There it is. Pick him up. Take him on his merry way so nobody else sees him. No bushes to jump him in this time, but we're going to leave him behind a nice sturdy rock. So that's that done. Easy pips. Couple of rocks to advance on now where we've got two Jafar just waiting, looking at each other, yes. not paying attention. So let's get ourselves over there. Make sure we're crouched for ultimate stealth. I know, it's ridiculous. And we're going to go and access this help. Now this help says, Tok Cal grenades. She can use them and they can basically stun them. That's what we're going to do then. And then we're going to, again, you're going to, we're going to tie them up and we're going to leave them on the side. There you are. Grenade's gone off. We're over there. Give him a good thumping with the staff. Have that. Have that. Tie him up. Easy peasy lemon squeezy. Now, a little bit of cover there as well. But not the most... Not the route you think you're going to have to go on. That's the thing here. I'm going to go down that piece of environment, those those vines, and I'm going to have a go at that Jafar down there. That's what I'm going to do. But I'm going to hide in that bush. And he's an armoured sausage as well, so that means we're going to have to use a different type of attack. So when he comes right, we're going to distract him with our headpiece of Ra amulet, which is what it is. Let's face it, that's the headpiece of Ra from Indiana Jones. He's going to go, oh, look at that. And then we're going to go over there now, and we're going to hit him with a charged attack. Have it. And then you've guessed it, everybody. Out comes the rope. We're going to pick him up. Understood. Get him in the foliage. Brilliant. So with that now, 
we've got to think about what we're going to do with Eva. And we've brought her across the bridge because that Jafar has gone. Um, we've got the mechanism that lowers the bridge. We've got a couple of Jafar milling about. One directly on the other side of that bush. One armoured, one all the way over there. And we've got somebody, I don't know, chopping a log by the look of it over there. So we're going to have to try and do something cunning with the stun grenade. So here we go. Other Jafar's moved on his merry way, just to be sure. Out goes the grenade, right on the edge of where we can possibly throw it. We should just get the feet of the other one. There goes the charge. We're going to throw caution to the wind and get people stood up and moving a bit quicker. Tie them up. Done. And then what we can do, because let's face it, we can do a bit of work and we can get that bridge drop down. We can just move these people out the way. I don't think we necessarily had to move these people out the way. However, we're doing this just to be complete. Yes. The other guy's not going to see us. We're going to get people moved. Awaiting orders. Good for Let's us. Move. Just in case he does. But to be fair, this is all about these guys just having a go, not having a go. We've kind of cocked up here. So what I'm going to do is um, give him a good thump in. He hasn't alerted anybody else. They're looking for people, but we kind of got away with it. Right on it. Yeah, we got the armor, Jafar. We're off. Affirmative. Let's move. Okay, here we go. That's the bridge, Lord. Mullet's cool. men are everywhere. I don't know how we'll get through here. Our carts look much like those of Malak. If our people stay out of sight, the carts and animals might pass without suspicion. That's risky. There must be someone who'd notice. We can scout the area. If we find any warriors observing the road, we can close their eyes. That's quite a way of putting it. All right, let's do it. Right, so that's that objective completed. Um, the idea is now is to go ahead, Roger. take out all the sentries so we can move the wagons through. And it's a couple of sentries we can take out. Now we've got a few people blocking our we'll way go. here, which we can do. And it's all about using something called the rope. Yes, folks, it's not a rope about tying people up. This is about climbing up ravines or vines. So as I mentioned, our Jafar, Atar, can climb up bits of the environment, but our military trained colonel cannot. So I'm just going to take out these Jafar warriors, just sat around having a sandwich, that sort of thing. Yeah, gone. Uh, I'm going to tie them up. Yes. I'm listening. Right, here we go. Got it. That's him then. We've put the rope down and we've just dropped it off the side of the ravine. Right on it. And uh, she's climbed up those I'm vines listening. and here she is. There you go. Hours of military training. We can move all the way up there once we get rid of these Jafar that are in our way. Now this section was a little bit tricky, I have to say. Um, we've got our Jafar just over over the way um, we're gonna have to move and just really get them on their lines of sight if you see these are the areas and the guards I've got to move off the road once I do that everything will be fine um, but unfortunately there's about 10 Jafar in the way 
and it's going to be just going to be tricky. And when I say tricky, not to rock a rhyme that's right on time. So we can see where he's looking. I think we've got to take Roger. basically them both out simultaneously. They're just out of line of sight. The two over on the left are going to be relatively easy. Um, go over. We're going to thump one. Boom. Then we're going to thump the other. Boom. Tie him up. Let's you move. guessed it. We're just going to have to move him somewhere. Or do we have to move him anywhere? I mean, you know, Understood. we're getting in this habit of moving people out the way. Right? But really? You know, really? Do we need to? No one was going to see him. No one was going to roll through there. So I think we'd have been fine just leaving them there. And sometimes we'll it's go. safer to leave them there. Because as you're walking around with a unconscious Jafar on your back, the problem being is um, you're going to get spotted. Because you're not in super secret stealth What's mode, which for Stargate timekeepers is oh. crouching, to be perfectly honest. Right, so here we go. Let's get over there. We can just basically silently, in crouch mode, super stealth, what we can do is get over there, knock him out, subdue him, and then you guessed it, stick him in a bush. And that's all we have to do. Affirmative. Here we go. Super stealth. Bit of a thump. Bosh. Roger. Tie him up. You don't get long before they revive themselves after being concussed. <laughs> Here you are. He's down. Right on Boom. it. Done. Nice and easy. And to be fair, we could have just left them there. We could have just left what them there. It? Everything would have been fine. There you go. So, so far, this game is very, very frustrating. I think I've saved the game and reloaded the game about 15 times so far. Roger. You know, hands up. You're never going to... And this is my first playthrough on it. You're never going to do it first time round. Well, you might do if you've watched this video. If you're still Welcome. with me. I don't know. Okay, here we go. That's where we're going. Lots of Jafar knocking about. Look, Jafar camps. But all we have to do is remove those two I shall. guards on the towers. That's all we have to do. Welcome. I say all we have to do. It is quite complicated. You've got people going up and down steps. Right on it. I mean, there is cover, but not a lot of cover. Some guy looks sat down, looking over the camp. More lines of vision. Right, we're going to wait till this guy gets out of our way. He's going to move. Those grenades have got a kick to them. Indeed. Yes. Right. They've been subdued. Absolutely fantastic. No one's coming up those steps. That guy behind that log, that Jafar, is completely and utterly oblivious to what I've just done. Completely and utterly. This game, though, I thought, well, there's only seven episodes in this first season. The first part of this season. A bit like a television series. You get, they've done the split seasons back when there was a writer's strike. Anyway, what's happened here, right? You get seven episodes now, seven missions now, and then seven uh, a little bit later on in the year all for one price brilliant 14 missions absolutely fantastic a lot of people will say oh well there's not any player v player well there wouldn't be would there really um and why would there? it's not that sort of game it's a stealth game it's more akin to solid snake than anything else so far so there's our um jafar we're gonna get our 
Jafar out, and we're going to throw the medallion. So um, that will attract them. Oh, look, he says. There's something shiny over there. All right, let's get over there. Give them a good belt with the staff. Have that. You guessed it. I shall. Understood. And away you go. Now, this one over there will be quite easy. I think one nicely timed um, grenade will get those three Jafar that are over there. They're all pretty much involved in what they're doing. They can't see us. We can hide just in that foliage, just round the corner. We can throw a grenade, whether it's a blinding grenade, the Jafar grenade, Let's or whether it's a stun grenade, you know, the SG grenade. It makes no difference. We can just get over there and then yes. subdue them. Okay, they've been subdued. Absolutely fantastic. Tie them up. And away we go. Right, with those Jafar Welcome. now nicely subdued. I don't have to move them. I don't know why I'm moving them around. I really don't know. I mean, like I say, it's my first playthrough. If I had my time again, i just leave them there. It makes no difference to me. I mean, no one's going to walk down there. I've seen the pattern of where the Jafar are here. There's one guy over there chopping wood. Some guy putting his pants on the washing line. And there's one over there surveying it. And you've got two people over there, you know, warming up a tin of beans on a campfire. Completely oblivious to the fact I just set off a flashbang. That's all I'm saying. All I'm saying. Onward. Right, so there's our hiding place. We're off. In another bush. Brambles everywhere. I tell you what, brambles everywhere. I don't even think that's going to be an option. I think we might as well just do what we normally do and throw a flashbang out. That'll get all three of them. It's not going to affect those people because they're out of range, even though they're kind of in a line of sight if something went down. Um, we can get set that off. That'll go off. They'll be effectively disorientated. Job done. Understood. And we're that much closer then to um, take the guards out. Yes. And then there were two. Well, actually three, but I hadn't seen that one who was squatted down to the left and that bit of wooden scaffolding at that stage. But it makes no difference. Um, they're very involved in what they're doing. The other guy isn't looking anywhere near them which is good really because what's about to happen is, yes. is utterly ridiculous i'm going to approach them just going to throw a grenade again it's out of the range where they'd be affected or whether they're going to hear your powers are many eva mccain i would learn they're not blinded to in goes eva our sg1 or our sg team protagonist they're all knocked out understood job done we can tie him up, and then what we got to do is get the other guy over in the top left-hand oh. corner. But that's not the guard we're after. Right, so there they are, all tied up. Again, here we are, we're moving people. Don't really need to. We're just going to put them by the washing line. There's a bush by there. The other guy, staring at his feet, not interested. Couldn't give two oots. Fact that, you know, no one's making any noise in the camp now. No one's oh, cooking beans on the campfire. No one cares. So what we're going to do, we're going to sneak round. 
Give him good ammo. Right. Sneaky beaky. We'll go. take our Colonel Eva. Give him a good thump. Roger. And there you go. Whap. He's tied up. Now, there's the guard we right want on, on that platform. I was a bit concerned at this stage that the guy on the other side would see us. I thought, oh, oh, how are we going to do this? Got it. Uh, but no, because he's just out of range if if we're sort of like, if we're being sneaky. So we'll go over there, give him a thumb. Boom. There you are. He didn't fall off. He's sort of like prone half on, half off. Roger. That's a bit of a shame. We can pick him up. Get on our merry way. Right you know, on it. No one's going to see him there. We can just drop him off. And then the difficult bit now is going to be the other side. Because so far we've got kind of as far as what we can get to. And you can see other Jafar from other sides Welcome. of this map that we didn't pursue this time. Over there going about their merry way, cooking things on a campfire. All that sort of thing. Indeed. So now we've got to get all the way over to the other side. And this this is this was difficult. Because a lot of thought goes got into it. this. I was actually I was, I was exhausted after playing this level of the game, which it which is strange, but it's good. So here we are. Right. We're off. Down those steps, Let's move. hide in the bush. There we go. We've hidden in the bush. We can get someone behind that cart. We can get a grenade on the go. No one else is going to see us. And this is exactly what I meant about not picking up corpses. If no one's going to see them, leave them there. That's my advice. Eva's going to tie that Jafar up. We're going to tie that Roger. one up. And we're kind of going to leave them there. And the reason why we're going to leave what them is there is because the Jafar that are just north of this position, this is Welcome. tricky. And you can see the vision lines as well. And there's one just across that bridge. And that's kind of where the wagons have to go, really. Down that one uh, road to the left. And then there's a bridge, which is all blocked off just to the north. But we'll see that a little bit later in a little bit of footage. Right. All that's going to be utterly useless because we, we can't really do anything. See where he's looking. There's one just to the other side of that hut. Right, brilliant. Here we go. What are we going to do? What are we going to do? It's going to be difficult. Right, here we go. We're moving Eva over to that wagon yes. on the really? right-hand side. We can get in that bush How can I help? and do something funky. Atar, the Jafar... We're going to throw a stun grenade over that little fence and distract that Jafar. Right there. Pow. Then, what do you need? Got it. she's going to knock him out while he's blinded and tie him up. We're going to get back in the bush because we haven't got time to do anything else. He's going to walk over there and say, oh, what's, wrong with, what's wrong with Dave the Jafar? Right? Roger. We're then going to go over and knock him out. Bam. And tie him up. Brilliant. That's it. That's all we really have to do. And no one's any other wiser because they're not looking. Right on it. 
Yeah, we can put him in a bush if we want to. Let's move. There you go. All bushed out. Right, brilliant. Next up. Now what are we going to do? Nothing else we can really do here other than the same old method of getting over there because no one's looking. I shall. All right. Throwing a grenade and the same old Your asshole. powers are Got many, Eva McCain. Um, oh look, I would crazy. learn a lot I from seeing all of them. them. I've hidden. He's gone, oh, what's this? Hits him with a gun. Pow. And that's it. End of mission. No sign of hostile forces, ma'am. Good. So we're clear to proceed. Let's keep moving. I offer you my thanks, Eva McCain. You led us through a dangerous journey. You did most of the leading. I just hope it's plain sailing from here. It has been an honor to walk beside you. I have learnt much. The honor's all mine. 